Okay, in question eight, we've got a grid here with a triangle A on the grid, and we're asked to rotate triangle A 90 degrees clockwise with center zero. Okay, so some people can do this by eye, other people might need to use a piece of tracing paper. So I'm going to use some tracing paper and I'm going to try and make some. So we have a piece of tracing paper such as this. Um, let's fill it and make it transparent so we can see what's going on. So there's my, my tracing paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is mark the center O as zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace triangle A. Okay. So once you've done that, I need to put this together. So you would hold your pencil on the uh, center O, and then you'd rotate 90 degrees around that mark. So what I'm going to do is I rotate it. 90 degrees clockwise, which is to the right. Obviously, your paper won't come off the mark, or at least it shouldn't. So we can see that the shape ends up in this position here. So what you would do next is take your tracing paper away and draw the triangle back in. So this is the new position of A. Okay, in the next part, we've got another grid with a triangle B, and we're asked to enlarge it by a scale factor three with a center one, two. So if the scale factor is three, that means every side should get three times longer. And here's the center. So how do we do it? Now, one way of doing it, very straightforward, is count the distance from the center to each vertex. So this would be two to the right. If I enlarge up by a scale factor of three, I need to go six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mark the vertex. This guy here, this vertex, is one, two, three, four away. That means the new vertex should be four, eight, twelve away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then this vertex up here, I need to go three up and two across, which means I'll go uh, nine up and six across. So three, six, nine, and two, four, six. Let's just double check that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's that's okay. Draw your triangle in. Just like that. And then a way to check your answer is to ensure that you draw some ray lines back. And they should all converge at the center of enlargement. And you can see that they all do. They all meet at the center of the enlargement. And that's how you enlarge by a scale factor of 3.